Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this self-study kit of UCCE deployment, deployment with uh, CVP 11.5, I'm going to show you how to prepare the servers and configure Active Directory. Now, as far I'm going to assume that our Windows 2012 server has been successfully installed and has been configured. Now, when you log into the Windows 2012 server, you will see, uh, you know, pretty much just like any other uh, Windows servers right here. Uh, you can click on the server manager, usually it's supposed to be open already. And from here, what we're going to do, go to local server and we're going to verify a few things. First of all, we need to make sure few things are configured in advance, such as computer name is properly configured. We want to make sure that the Ethernet address is there. Now, Active Directory only need one network interface card. Now, in my lab environment, I'd like to keep all the firewall uh, disabled, remote desktop enabled, uh, no network team is required, i.e. in security, hate that uh, option, and all those make sure it's ch uh, ch uh, checked as well, uh, unchecked as well. Now here you will see some information about your uh, server uh, configurations. So we'll just leave it that it is. Now the next step is to turn this server on as an active directory. So before we do that, let's quickly make sure we can ping our default gateway. So far so good. I'm gonna to try to ping Okay, Google DNS server, also perfectly fine. So now, I'll go back to dashboard and I'm going to add a role and feature. Now what I'm about to do is install an active directory. So click on the role, you're going to continue next. It's going to be role-based or feature-based installation. We're going to select this server from the list and we're going to enable no not that <coughs> yeah so that's the one active directory domain services is going to ask you to add all these features so go ahead and add select and unselect whatever the features you need so i'm going to select everything for now now in it while you're here you can also add the certificate directory service uh, dns server now we're going to need dns server so go ahead and add dns server as well and if you like you can also add the web server as well so once you have all these services, click next. Dot, uh, framework 3.5 or 4.5 will select. I think it's already selected. It says already installed as you can see. So go ahead and click next. And from, from there, just continue clicking next. Now this is, this is where it's asking you if you are installing web server, if anything specific you'd like to install. So like I said, we're just gonna keep the default for now. Confirm and we're going to restart if necessary. So that's pretty much how you would start installing an active directory. So while this, we're gonna let it run until this is completed. So now that installation is done, I mean, sorry, the setup is done. So what I'm going to do is says promote this server to domain controller. So I'm going to go ahead, select this option. It's asking me to add domain controller to existing domain, to an existing forest or new forest. So I'm going to select a new forest because this is the first time I'm going to create that. So let's call this uh, corp.voicebootcamp.com. Okay, it already exists in the network, so let's just call it voicebootcamp.com. All right, so the functional level, all servers are going to be Windows 2012 R2, uh, R2 so we're going to leave it as it is. Okay, so I'm going to define a password. So 
So it's giving me the delegation for this DNS cannot be contacted because authority parents cannot be found. So okay, so we don't have a DNS server ready yet. So we're gonna say next. Okay, so we're gonna click on create delegation, change the credential, administrator, and the admin password name. Go ahead and continue next. This is the NetBIOS domain name, Voice Bootcamp. The earlier you saw that error message saying the delegation wasn't working or wasn't configured and that was reason because of the network settings <laughs> if you go to the adapter the DNS server for the active directory was set incorrectly so you have to make sure the DNS server for the active directory is also the same IP address of the server itself so dot 50 because this is going to be the act active server okay so click next and now we're ready to inst start the installation of our active directory so we're going to let it run until the installation is done now as you can see all prerequisite check passed successfully and we're ready to install okay so rebooted my active directory so i'm going to log in and now my server is part of the active directory so well my server is the active directory rather so i'm going to do just command prompt type who am i and you can see it's voice bootcamp slash administrator okay so if i go to the administrative tools right there I should have my active directory information as you can see you active directory users and computers and there are there you go all right so now we have configured active directory on our AD server so next step you're going to do is go to every single server where you have UCCE related component though those server must be a member of active directory so i'm going to go to manually to each server so i'm going to start with a rogger a open the server manager go to a local server and when you go to the local server right here it says work group or computer name go ahead and click on that and i'm going to change and what we're going to do we're going to say domain name now in order for this to work you need to make sure that your network settings that the dns address on your public interface pointing to the active directory itself so right there dot 50. so this is very important every u server that has ucce component must point to the active directory as their dns server okay so now that it's done we validate that i will go ahead and close this and i'm going to join the domain so i'm going to say uh, where it says full computer name i'm going to add voicebootcamp.com that's the domain name and then i'm going to say domain name will be voicebootcamp.com as well when I click OK, it's going to ask me for username and password, which is administrator and the password, whatever the password you defined. Welcome to Voice Bootcamp domain. We're ready to go. Click OK and restart. So while this is done on Rogger, I'm going to log into Rogger B. same thing for every server you'll follow the same procedure 
not every I mean not some there are some servers that, that don't need part to be member of Active Directory for example CVP server does not have to be part of Active Directory but it also does not hurt for you to put it into the Active Directory either now all my servers I made sure that the DNS is configured properly uh oh I might be wrong So public oh yeah I was wrong here so the DNS server is set to incorrect now when you have a both public and private one thing you want to do when you, uh, on the private side you want to go to the properties and click on advance DNS and say do not register this prefix we don't want the pri private interface to be registered to the DNS server okay so I'm going to go ahead and clear the cache just to make sure uh, IP config flash DNS and then I will try to join again and this time it's going to ask for more ask me for the username and password okay so now ready to restart I will do the PG So again, like I say, every server. So you want to make sure the DNS is entry is correct. Like I said, I was wrong earlier, so I don't want to take a chance. So I will click on the publish public interface. Yeah, I believe uh, we decided to use that IP range for DNS, but later we changed it. That's why I forgot about that. Now on the private interface, I want to uh, remove the advertisement. Do not register this DNS. Okay, so flash the DNS. Okay, so now we're going to join the domain. Okay, computer must restart, no worries. We go to B. Again, we're going to repeat that for every server. So I can see my DNS server is incorrect. Okay, so I'm going to join the domain now. Oh, my apology, incorrect password I put in there.
Okay, so A, B is done, robber A is done. Now, last two I'm going to do is the admin servers. Okay, this one the DNS is correctly set, so I don't worry about that. Okay, perfect. So ready to reboot. So now I'm going to do that main server on site A. So I can see the DNS server is correctly set. All right, so all my major component for ICM or ECCE, the DNS server has been successfully configured. Okay, so now we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so all the servers are done, and this is basically how you prepare the servers with Active Directory and having a join the domain.